you spend much time in London during the war? Hardly at all. I had to stay here in St. Giles to keep Brian away from the raids. There wasn't anyone to look after him but myself, so I was pretty well stuck here. I'm not sure that isn't the greatest cruelty of war, the separation of people, husbands and wives. Yes. The waiting for the mail to arrive each day. Most of the time waiting in fear. Did your husband manage to get home often? Quite often when he started his work, but not much the last months. Nobody had time then. I suppose not. They were hectic days for everyone. Yes, I know. I don't think I've ever felt as lonely as I felt then. When Mark first began on his broadcasts, his letters used to be full of excitement. He was stimulated by everything he saw. And he would write to me so that I would feel part of it. And then towards the end, the letters got less frequent. Just short notes. I think he was under some terrible strain. Yes, yes, we all were. Uh, did you say there was some brandy? Yes. I forgot about it. Come and help me with the glasses. Uh. What are you trying to do, Carter? If you don't know, Sarah, I didn't succeed. You think I don't feel guilty enough, is that it? Because Mark was with me during those days. That I kept him away from her. I want you to stop trying to take him away from her again. I'm not trying to. Sarah, can't you see it? I'd like to propose a toast. Mr. Reynolds, I thank you. To Sarah. 